Hey guys, my name is Nathan Brown from New Brunswick, Canada, and today I'm going to show you how I record automation in my DAW using a piece of my own original work. So I'm going to open up Logic Pro here, and the part I'm going to show you guys specifically is this lead guitar. This one right here, because there's a problem on it on the way how it rings out that I don't like, and we're going to change that. So this is what it sounds like right now without any automation on it. So in case you can't exactly pick out the problem, I'll solo it for you. So I don't really like that. So to use automation, we just click this automation button up here. And you can see I've done some edits already to some other guitars, but I want to show you guys what I do what I do to this track. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some nodes, which are these little yellow dots right here, probably about around here, let's say, the start of fade out. So there's one node, make another one right here, and one more right about there, and then one more right here. So with this first node, uh, that's just to keep the volume at this level. The second node we can bring down to about, let's say, there. Yeah, let's do it right there. And then this last node we can go all the way down. So let's just bring some more gradual fade out. And this one just brings the volume back up. So when we get down here, it will be still at the line I, the line level I want it to be at. So now let's listen back to what we just did. What I just did. So I'm gonna start from here. So you can kind of hear at the end, you can it's, you can still hear it when it's soloed, that it doesn't sound too great, but when you add it all in the mix, so I'm happy with that. So that's how you do that one part, and there's this last one part I want to show you over here. So it's the same guitar riff. I just, but the ending of this one is also not great. I'll show you. If you didn't, if you didn't catch that, this is what it sounded like. So. <laughs> I definitely don't want that in there, and um, this really shows you how powerful automation is. So all I gotta do is go over here. I'm gonna say probably yeah, let's do it right there, and make a node here, and then make one more node right here. So I'm just gonna take this one all the way down, and that should fix our problem. So let's listen to it. Yeah, so I, I like that. And uh, hopefully I taught you guys a little thing of how powerful automation is and hopefully you guys will uh, really learn some more about it and incorporate it into your own projects. So one more quick review is a automation button up here, triggers your automation. Uh, make sure this is turned to read, not off, and click to make notes and fool around till you are satisfied. I uh, hope you guys learned something from this video and I hope you learn even more throughout the rest of this course. Thank you.